welcome back to Build Stop Projects. My name's Spencer, Devin's behind the camera. Um, we're gonna get started on the new build, the uh, 100 horsepower drift trike. So we've got a bunch of the uh, parts from the old boneyard out behind the shop and uh, we'll get started. So the street bike, gonna be using the front end off it. That's the street bike frame that the motor came out of for the Odyssey build. Um, this motor is a 600 XLT Polaris motor out of a snowmobile. Um, this is the Odyssey rear frame piece from the original Odyssey frame before it kind of got chopped up a uh, extensive amount. So we're going to be using the rear axle out of that. And then those are just the tires that went with the Odyssey axle. Um, so that motor isn't going to be the exact one that goes in it, but I'm going to use it for mocking it up until I get the other one. So we'll, uh, we'll get started. All right. So, uh, as you can probably tell by the shape of this package, got ourselves a seat. Uh, this was ordered on Amazon. There'll be a link in the description. Oh, this is shaping up to be a really, really good idea. Yeah, a little sketchy, but uh, it'll be good. I got these kind of chopped off kind of where I might want them to start building the frame off of those. Um, I'm going to move the handlebar clamps. I'm going to try to flip them side to side. So that way the handlebars come out the bottom to get it a little closer to where you're going to be sitting. Um, also going to loosen up triple clamps and everything and move them, move the forks up in the clamps to lower it down a little bit more in the front just to, uh, get the steering a little bit lower and just get the frame in the front a little lower and so I can have the angle of the like so the, the rake of the front tire isn't so far out there um, also last night figured out that the rear axle is not going to work the way that I wanted it to because when the chain case is on there the uh, the secondary clutch ends up sticking out on this side so and it ends up being about in this area so with that, the engine would have to sit way over either behind the front or behind the tire or above it because it's just too long. It would work really well with like a 440 or something, just a twin, even an 800. Just a shorter engine would work way better. But uh, since we're doing the 600 because all the horsepower is necessary for this, apparently, um, I ordered a different rear axle and stuff so I'll just be building a rear axle out of go-kart parts um, instead and I'll run a jack shaft kind of how this is set up right now because the 600 secondary clutch runs on a one inch shaft so I can just run the one inch keyed shaft build a jack shaft with a sprocket on it run a sprocket to the rear axle so I can still get the gear reduction of a chain case but without running a chain case so all those parts are on order we're going to try to get started building the front portion of the frame kind of towards the back and uh, we'll see how far we get. All right, so we finally got the handlebar clamps off. Um, they were either very corroded or maybe glued on or something. Not too sure. I wouldn't think that they would be glued on, so I'm guessing it's just corrosion. So I'm just using some Scotch-Brite going through, cleaning those up, taking a little bit off of the fork so that way I can get these back on and then they just go on the opposite direction. So you just flop them side to side, flip them over. That way uh, we can run the bars out the bottom. Got the first fire of the year going. Big shout out to Rogue Fab for sending us this one inch 
uh, three and a half radius die. Uh, we're gonna be using it pretty much primarily for building this whole project. So super excited about that. My eyeballing the center of the bend turned out pretty dang close. I guess the eyeball's doing pretty good today. So it's been a few days since we worked on the trike, but we didn't have any parts to get started on the rear axle. So we uh, finally got all of our parts from Go Power Sports and one box from Amazon because I may have forgot to order something and kind of had to get it quickly. We got everything from Go Power Sports unboxed here. Um, got our rear axle, and then this one we're gonna use as a jack shaft, so it'll be getting cut up. Got a bunch of lock collars, some brakes, hubs, bearings, and then these uh, wheels and tires came all mounted up and everything, so save us a little time there, not having to mount those. And then they also sent these pretty sweet stickers. Um, kinda excited about these. So they're kind of the Retro race team sticker, a uh, Nintendo style kind of mini bike sticker, and then uh, their other Go Power Sports wing sticker. So those are going to be going on something. Not sure what yet, but they'll be going on something. All right, so we're getting started building these uh, lower frame rails. So kind of the plan here is we'll have one on each outside bearing um, that'll be the same side to side. And then there'll be two more inside bearings that'll come off of these upper tubes and run kind of back at an angle. That'll also double as areas to mount the seat. And then so we'll have seat kind of right about there-ish, somewhere in there. And then motor back here, a mess of pipes coming out of it, and then radiator probably somewhere in this general region. Not too sure yet, still kinda gotta figure that out, but uh, it'll kinda come along as we build, so we'll, uh, we'll get started building these lower tubes. I'm gonna have to notch them with a grinder because I may have forgot to buy the uh, hole saw and arbor that I needed until last night, so they'll be here tomorrow, but uh, these first tubes are going to get hand notched. What I'm going to do here to try to make the rear axle alignment easier to get it nice and straight to everything is I pulled these two bearing plates off for the outer bearings that are going to be getting welded to these tubes. Um, so what I'm going to do is since these tubes are the same length, bend was started in the same spot and everything, uh, measured 15 inches from the back portion of the tube forward, going to weld those on at the back end of the bearing plate, and then uh, that way I can bolt the bearing plates back onto the bearings, hold them on the rear axle where they need to be, and then line up the front bits and make sure everything's nice and level and everything will be a lot easier to get it square the way that it should be. So get started on that.
Alrighty, so those two lower tubes are kind of welded on there now, so you can get kind of an idea of how that's gonna be there. And then seat's gonna be kind of somewhere up in this region, so that way you can reach the handlebars and such and try to leave room for whatever pipe conglomeration we're gonna end up having back here. Something kind of ridiculous is gonna be going on and then gonna be having the uh, secondary clutch on a jack shaft mounted probably up in this area somewhere as well, running down to a sprocket there. Um, so we got a lot of work to do still, but that's all we got time for in this video. In the next video, we're gonna be working on kind of finishing up, try to get frame stuff done, or at least all the lower stuff kind of done, get motor mounted, probably go get the snowmobile that we're gonna pull the motor out of to use in this thing so we can actually have the one we're gonna be using instead of just a junk one that I had laying around. So um, thanks for watching this video, guys. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Go check out Rogue Fab for all their awesome tools. If you need any other stuff, because they sent us the dies for these, this uh, one inch tubing, because we didn't have any of those yet. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for the next video. This thing's going to be kind of ridiculous, I think.